It's my last season, so um, I gotta do everything I can you know, to finish it out right. So that's where I'm at right now. What what yeah, worked for you guys in the second half? Um, you know, I think we started throwing the ball more efficiently. Um, started running the ball more efficiently. You know, I think everything that we were doing was just more efficient than what we had in the, in the first half. What were they doing up front that kind of gave the guys some fits for a while? Um, you know, I thought they, you know, credit to them. They played really hard. Um, they fit gaps really well. And you know, I think we're, we're just so dang close to, you know, you know, ripping one, one run, you know, just one arm tackle, one shoelace tackle. You know, whatever it is, um, um, we're close to it. Um, you know, it may not seem that way, but um, you watch some film from our angle and whatever. Um, we're damn close, so um, yeah. Hadley, as one of the older guys, how do you sort of rally the troops into these final few weeks? Yeah, um, you know, like I said, we we still got so much football to play. Um, I'm not even playing for myself right now. You know, I'm doing it for Brendan. I'm doing it for Austin Moore. I'm doing it for. Asa Newsom, you know, Bo Palmer, every, all the guys that, you know, are, this is their last year, they're injured. Um, and that's what the great thing about Kansas State, you know, it's such a selfless program. And, uh, you know, you have to finish it out right. Is it weird that you're kind of down to one more home game of your career? Yeah, and I don't think it's hit me until just, you know, right about now, you know, here. Um, today, so that's it's, it's um, kind of a weird feeling. Coach Brian mentioned with the captain Marquise earlier, and Coach Lyman says that he wants to take it all on all the blame on himself for this. Mm -hmm. Marquise had trouble accepting that. What are, what are your feelings when he says that this is on me? I feel the same way. Um, you know, we've said this for for a long time. You know, ever since uh, Coach Carmen got here, you know, he said that this is a, a player-led team. You know, so. Um, it is not all on coach, you know, none of it's on coach. It's all on us as players, you know, like they're the, the coaches aren't the ones that go out there and play the game with us. You know, they're not, you know, a, a tight end or an offensive lineman or quarterback, whatever it is. Um, you know, it's up to us that we go out there and execute the plays. And um, I love everyone here to death and what they do for me, for us as a team. And uh, yeah, we got to be better players. Fact that it's coming off a of bye week, does that make it even more frustrating? That maybe you felt like you had some of these problems fixed and it's still had yeah. some work to do? Yeah, I think it's, it's tough to know what to feel right now. Obviously, I um, uh, need to reevaluate uh, re that stuff tomorrow and Monday and stuff and then um, get right back to it. Have any of the offensive problems you think stem from going from a quarterback that was in his fourth year, had a lot of experience, and now Avery's only in his second year? Still learning, probably quite a bit. I don't, I don't feel like it is no. Um, I think, you know, like both of them, will last year Avery. Um, they're both unique in what they do, and um, you know you can't say that. You know, everything changes and everything's different just because someone else is in there new. I guess is what is the way I feel about it. Um, it's the age of college football, you know, everybody, everybody has to, you know, adapt and adjust all the time. After the time, what were you guys finally got it going? What was, what was the 